Good morning, students of class 9. You are welcome back to the e-classes. We are doing history, forest society and colonialism continued. In our previous class, we have learned how the people rebelled, rebelled against the colonial government. Now, here are, there are altogether five points. We will go quickly. The story of the forest and people of Bastar does not end there only. Now, uh, after independence, the same practice of keeping people out of the forest and reserving the forest for industrial use continued after the Indian government was formed. The same thing happened. So now the people, they faced problems. Number 14, in 1970, the World Bank proposed that 4,600 hectares of natural sal forest should be replaced by tropical pine forest to produce pulp for paper industry. So the government was pressurized from the World Bank. As the government has taken loan from the World Bank, so the government has to listen. So this means that the forest people, they will face more problems. So number 15, even after independence, the people were facing the problem, the same problem that continued. Number 15, it was only after protest by local environmentalist that the protest was project was stopped. So under the pressure of the environmentalist and ecologist that the project was stopped. So number 16, now we will go to other parts of Asia, Indonesia and see what was happening there at the time over the same period, what was happening there. So whatever was happening in India must be happening the same thing in other parts of the uh, world. So we will learn in our next 4.0 forest transformation in Java. So we'll learn about that in our next uh, portion. So forest transformation in Java. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. It's a very short video.